Bagua was made famous by the Taoist sage and Sifu, Dong Hai Chuan, around 1840, and that is all that is certain. Various stories abound as to which hermit or monk he learned it from, but the second most certain fact is that Bagua, or Eight Gates Theory, has been a part of Chinese culture since around 6000 BC, when the old man, Fu Shi, the first sage king, introduced it as a civilizing factor to help humanity live more in harmony and balance with each other and with nature. Bagua is a shamanic map which makes more manageable the very generalized principles of Tai Chi or Yin Yang theory, which, as a paradigm, had already been circulating around China for several thousand years. Another certainty is that today in the 21st century we have many different branches, schools, or styles of Bagua competing often for supremacy in their roots to the original Dong Ai Chuan system. Tai Bagua as such is a 21st century amalgamation of several of the most popular styles, namely Yimei, Wudong, Gao, and Yin styles. The reference for Bagua as level 4 in Tai Kung Fu transcends the Dong Ai Chuan root, which is based on the later heaven arrangement of the I Ching from 1100 BC. Tai Bagua is based on the earlier heaven or pre-birth arrangement of Fuxi and Yu from the mythical period of the first and second dynasties 8,000 years ago and is the earliest direct line of Taoism's roots. In Tai Bagua, greatest reverence is still given, however, to the Bagua Chuan of Dong Hai Chuan, who pioneered the legacy of Bagua through his appointment to teach before the royal courts, thus immortalizing this fine art. Though I began training at six years old, I was first introduced to Bagua theory by my father, who was my first Sifu, when I was 12 and I contemplated it much through my teens as I developed my foundation in Gong Fu. But it wasn't until 1985, when I was 27, that I began formal Bagua instruction from Master Ni Wei Chen in Boulder, and subsequently in sequence from Adam Chu, Bing Li, Paul Rep, Abel West, Kumar Francis, Li Zhao, and Zhang Ji. And thus, I've been walking the circle now for over 25 years, yet still feel that I am only scratching its surface.